Hello, my friends. I'm actually in my son's bedroom today as I meet with you. Our son is differently abled. He has Down syndrome. And uh, yesterday was Down syndrome day. It was a day to celebrate the differently abled and some of the gifts that they bring into this world. You know, when Brendan was born, we didn't understand fully what a gift he would be in our lives. What an incredible, unique uh, blessing he would be in our home. He is, um, he is really amazing. This week at uh, Fika's Coffee House, they've been celebrating um, differently abled people by displaying their artwork. And some of Brendan's artwork is being displayed there as well. And I actually have a little bit of his artwork right here in his room. He has made that, uh, that picture or that collage. And I really like this one. It's kind of cool. It was a picture frame that he made when he was quite a bit younger. I love the picture too. That's, that's Brandon. Well, I would like to just share today a little bit about how we need to understand and be with all the people in our world who are uniquely abled. Psalm 1 verse 3 says this, that a person, that person is plant, like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. You know, that's what I've found in our son. The gifts he brings into this world seem to just grow and prosper. It's like he is rooted right into the, into the ground of, of the spirit. And, and he draws his life from the divine love that is there. And he shares it with everybody around him. And he does that through the gifts of his presence. He does that through the gifts of his artwork and through just his being. And I have experienced that with all of the differently abled people that I am blessed to know because Brendan's in my life. And so today I wanted to remember that and I wanted us to remember that. When we look at someone around us who is different than us, who is differently abled than us, who is has um, different ways of being, and that could be anybody, anybody that we know, we need to give thanks for them. And we need to encourage them to to share their gifts with us because they're really important gifts. So today I wanted to, to speak to this and I wanted to talk about this with us and I wanted to acknowledge so that we can remember this as we move forward as people of God. Let's pray together. Lord God, thank you. Thank you for all your, your children, all of us. We're all so different and we all have so many gifts and we all have so much to offer. And our differently abled people in this world have so much to offer us. So help us, Lord, to, to see the gifts that they bring us and to give thanks and to acknowledge them and to remind them just what a gift they are to us. We pray this in your name. Amen. I thank you for joining me today. And um, I want to remind you that you also have different gifts. Sometimes we feel like we don't have anything to offer. You have different gifts. And, um, and they don't have to be perfect to offer them. They're just beautiful the way they are. So if you can offer the gift of you and the gift of your creativity, just remember that's important. It's important in our world. It's important in our churches. And it's so important to God. You are special. And you too are differently abled. God bless you today. Bye now.